Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Block. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can use LUTs to change colors in a video in VSTC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to use LUTs to change colors in a video in VSTC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now to demonstrate this, I have already imported a demo video in the editor. So this is my demo video present right here. And what we are going to do is we will change the color which is present in the background using LUTs. So currently the color which is present in the background is this sort of bluish color. So using LUTs, we will change this bluish color into some different color. Now to do this, first of all, you need to open up the resources window. So go to the view tab and now double click on this resources window option which is present right here. Now the moment you double click on the resources window option, you will see the resources window dialog open up on the right hand side. Next you need to right click inside the resources window and then go to add resources and now select create LUT. Now the moment you click on create LUT, you will see this LUTs option appear right here. Next, you need to double click on your demo video. And now you need to drag this LUTs option in the timeline like this. Perfect. Next, you need to double click on the LUTs option. And the moment you double click on the LUTs option, you will see the LUT settings dialog open up. Now, we are mostly interested in this particular area of the LUT settings dialog. So, this is a gradient histogram, alright? And a gradient histogram represents all the existing color tones which are present. And if you look inside the gradient histogram, you will find these white spots which are present right here. So, these white spots represent the color tones of your video. So, all the colors which are present inside my demo video are represented by these white spots inside the gradient histogram. All right. Now, apart from these, we also have control points. So there are in total 37 control points inside the gradient histogram. So where are the control points? So this is one control point. This is second control point, third control point, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, 8th, 9th, 10th and so on and so forth. So there are in total 37 control points and if you move any of the control point from one area of the histogram to some other area of the histogram, you will instantly see the color change in your video. So let me show you. So as I said earlier, I want to change the color which is present in the background. And this color is sort of a bluish color, alright? And so if you look inside the histogram, most of the bluish colors are concentrated in this area of the histogram, alright? And the control point which is closest to this particular area of the histogram is this one. This is the control point which is closest to this particular area of the histogram. So in this area, most of the bluish colors are concentrated. And I'm looking at bluish colors because I want to change this particular color which is there in my background. And this color is sort of a bluish color and that's the reason I'm looking at the bluish colors in the histogram. So this control point is the closest to this particular area. And if I move this control point to some other area of the histogram, you will instantly see the background color change. As you can see, the color in my background automatically changed when I move the, moved the control point from this area of the histogram to this particular area of the histogram. Similarly, if I just move the control point to some other area of the histogram, you will once again see the color change in the background. So this is how you can actually change any color in your video using LUTs. Alright, so let's say I want to keep this particular color in my background. So now what you need to do is after you have selected your color, simply click on the OK button and that's it. And so now as you can see, I've changed the color of my background using LUTs. 
So let's try something else as well. So currently the duration of my LUT is 6 seconds 666 milliseconds. So it is the entire duration of my demo video. So let me just decrease the duration of this LUT to 3 seconds. So inside the duration option, let me just write 03.000 and now press enter on the keyboard. Alright, now let me place this LUT somewhere around 500 milliseconds. Alright, and so now if I just quickly play the video for you. So initially, the color in my background is this particular bluish color. And when I play the video, as you can see, the background color changes to the color which I had set inside the LUT. Now, let me just add a second LUT. Alright, so let me just go to the resources window and let me right click inside the resources window once again. Go to add resources, select create LUT and now drag this second LUT inside the timeline like this and now double click on this second LUT and once again let me just drag this control point and place it in some other area of the histogram like this and now let me just click on the OK button and that's it. And so now if I just quickly play this entire video for you from the start. So this is the color of my background which is there in my video. and. This is when the first LUT is applied and the color changes to this particular color. Now the color goes back to the original color. And this is when my second LUT is applied and the color once again changes. So this is how you can actually use LUTs to change colors in a video in VSCC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.